Hi everyone, I hope that you're all taking care during these difficult times in isolation. I want to introduce you to our Hydrosense Legionella test, but in particular our single syringe test kit. For those who don't know too much about Legionella, Legionella is a potentially dangerous bacteria, naturally found in water, more so where water is stagnant, found at your place of work, but also at your home. Causes Legionnaire's disease, which shares very, very similar symptoms to pneumonia and what we're seeing right now with COVID-19. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this test in particular is because it could be a fantastic tool where sites in isolation are having difficulty monitoring their water. The test is easy to use, can be used by anybody, anywhere, anytime. And I'd like to do a quick demonstration to show you it is as easy as I say it is. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so here we are um, with the Hydrosent Single Syringe Test Kit. Now, the kit contains everything needed to carry out one Legionella test. Um, we get this opened up. We have the most important thing, the instructions. We have syringe, Hydrosense, filter, buffer solution, and beaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to test my garden hose, which is linked up to my outside tap. So the first stage, the most important thing, is to take the sample. We charge that up. Okay, so if we fill up the beaker, 250 mil, with water. There we go. Turn that off. And there we go, 250 mil sample water. So what we have to do is we need to pass 250 mil through our filter. This filter right here, using the syringe. So we start taking water into the syringe, attach the syringe to the filter and squeeze it through the filter. Okay, that's one. That's two. Three. And there we go. And that's four, 250 mil. Now there is a little bit of resistance there, uh, but it will pass through the filter easy enough. So next what we want to do is take off the white cap and switch it over to the other side and give it a little little nip there. Now any Legionella that was in the water sample is now in the filter. We take the buffer solution and we attach it to the other side of the filter and we want to push that this um, this buffer solution into the into the into the filter and backwash it three times. So we'll draw it back a little bit there, up to 0 0.5, and push it all the way through, and then draw back to 0 0.5. That's two. That's three. Then we want to draw back to 0 0.5 push it all the way up to get rid of any air bubbles to 0 0.1. It's very important we take that to 0 0.1 because that 0 0.1 is the amount of water that we need to apply to the hydrosense. Okay, so we're very happy with that. So any Legionella that was in the filter now is in the buffer solution. Next we take our hydrosense. I'm 
we laid flat on the table. Then we apply that 0.1, that one tenth of a mil, onto the first window of the hydrosense. So that all that water, all that solution is on the first window. So now we've done that, we have to wait 25 minutes um, and then we can get our result. Okay, so the results are in and it's not good news, unfortunately. So what we have here, we have two hydrosense tests. Uh, the top one was carried out from a different outlet uh, in my home. And the bottom one was carried off from the garden hose demonstrated. If you look at the top test, you can see there's one line and the lines on the right hand side, which shows us that the Kyrosense um, testing procedure was carried out correctly. And the bottom Hydrosense, like I say, from the garden hose, shows us that the test was carried out correctly because of the line on the right hand side. But there is another line on the left hand side, which tells us that Legionella was detected. Now, I did use the Hydrosense application on my mobile phone, which generated the report that showed a hazard index of seven, which would indicate that there is over 2,000 CFU per litre, um, which, again, it's, it's, not, it's not great news. Um, but it, you know, it's, it's interesting because it does, uh, it does show that it doesn't matter whether you're at your home or in the workplace, the, the risk of, of, uh, of Legionella growth is is very real.